A scary incident at a Major League Baseball game this week has reopened the conversation about safety at the ballpark. A child was rushed to the hospital after she was hit by a foul ball at the Astros Cubs game in Houston. The Lynchburg Hillcats have already taken precautions to prevent something similar from happening here at home. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us what they're doing to keep people safe. A baseball game is supposed to be a great timeout, but that could all change if a foul ball rockets into the stands. This asked Lynchburg Hillcats pitching coach Joe Torres. I was in a ball as a player. There was a line drive that uh, hit a gentleman in the face and actually um, ripped his skin across right here. The Hillcats hope to keep baseballs out of harm's way with nets. Team president Chris Jones installed extra netting at City Stadium, covering the seats behind the dugouts two years ago. My kids, when they were little, I made sure they always sat behind the net. I wouldn't allow my kids to sit down past the net because they just don't pay attention enough. The topic is back in the spotlight after a Chicago Cubs player hit a young fan with a foul ball this week. Minor League Baseball has suggested extending netting past the dugouts for a few years now, but the Hillcats went a step further and made the dugout nets as high as the nets behind home plate. The first year I heard a, a few grumblings here and there, but you see that first line drive foul ball, you think you're thankful that it's there. There are a few spots at City Stadium that don't have netting, including this section near the third base line. But the Hillcats say they have enough netting to make sure everybody is safe. We want to not take away from the, the aspects of the game, the foul ball aspect and the autograph seeking kids. You know, you put nets up everywhere, it's almost like they're enclosed, you know, in a cage. There are also signs at City Stadium warning fans about foul balls and combined with the nets. Torres says fans are safer than they were when he was playing. It's always unfortunate whenever that, whenever that happens, and uh, I think we're starting to bring more awareness to that, and it's, it's really good for our fans and the safety of our game. The Salem Red Sox also have netting that goes down to the dugouts, although it's not as high up as the Hillcats netting is. The Red Sox said they are committed to keeping up with Major League standards for netting, and the Hillcats have said the same. For now in Lynchburg, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. And what Taj just touched on right there, the Salem Red Sox had previously extended their netting to the end of the dugout. Team officials say the design of the stadium has home plate further away from the stands to help protect fans. But if there are any changes in the major leagues, they'll follow suit.